But a big showdown in high school baseball. Middle Illini Conference leader Metamora travels to Morton. The Redbirds are 6-0 in the league. They bring an 11-game win streak into the game, and the Potters give lefty Tate Rowley the start. Excellent night. 12 strikeouts in six innings. He allows just one run. Carson Davis pitching for the Redbirds. No runs allowed in his six innings of work on the mound. He fanned eight. Morton loads the bases in the sixth and the seventh inning with no outs and can't score. Tyler Atkins, the save, the game-ending strikeout for Metamora, who stays unbeaten in the middle line with a 1-0 win. Pekin hoping to hand co-leader Washington his first loss in the middle line I season, but Easton Harris had other plans. He's on the mound for the Panthers, three scoreless innings as the pitcher, seven strikeouts in his three innings of work. But he really shines with his bat. Harris hits for the cycle, a single, double, triple, and homer. He knocked in nine runs. Here's his three-run triple. Washington with a football score win, 21-0 at Pekin. Inner city matchup in girls softball. Uhi playing at Bloomington and Ellie Vetter pitching for the Purple Raiders. A nice pitch on the outside corner for the strikeout. Uhi gets on the board with some small ball, a bunt, and then a throwing error allows Macy Patellin to round the base. She scores all the way from first. This game goes to extra innings. Vetter with a line drive homer to right for Bloomington, which beats Uhi in nine innings, five to four. Good small school matchup in softball. Brimfield playing at Illini Bluffs, 2-2 game, fourth inning. Kira Johnson hitting with a couple of runners on. She hits this ball off the fence in right field. That's a two-run triple, and that gives Brimfield its first lead of the afternoon. And later, C.J. Troxel's hitting the ball off the left field fence. That brings home another run for Brimfield, which wins at Illini Bluffs, 12-6. Big 12 soccer showdown. Normal West plays at Notre Dame. Great play from the goalkeepers. West on the attack. Aria Gandhi tries to tip this one in. Notre Dame's Eddie Jeanette with a really nice stop there. West protecting a one-zip lead, 14 minutes to go. Jenna Horst the blast. The Wildcats keeper, Evelyn Rachel, with the save of the night. She keeps Notre Dame off the board, and West celebrates a 1-0 win. Good non-conference soccer matchup. Morton travels to normal community. The iron on the attack. Raina Powers gets between two defenders and powers this one in for the opening goal of the match. But Morton would respond in a big way. Loose ball in the box. Jenna Samp controls it, gets a touch, and then scores with the right foot. And then the Potters take the lead on a beautiful move here. It's Sophie Davila with the through ball to Addison Dia. She's going to score here. Pretty goal, pretty win for the uh, Potters on the road. 5-2 at Normal Community. Really good matchup in boys lacrosse with Washington traveling to Bloomington Normal and the Twin Cities team with some nice work here up front. It's Ryan Baxter who fires that one in for the goal. But Washington with a big night. They're having a big season. Gabe Patterson gathers, shoots. He finds the back of the net here. And then some terrific Panthers passing. Looking to move the ball. Jackson McQuarrie to Patterson to Kanan McQuarrie. He scores and Washington stays unbeaten. 17-3 the final. Briefly, other base Baseball winners tonight. Limestone, East Peoria, Brimfield, Delavan, Tremont, El Paso Gridley, Peoria Christian, Midwest Central, and Princeville, while Washington, IVC, and Lewistown are winners in softball.